Hello and welcome to Thought for October the 7th. Our readings are 1 Chronicles chapter 23, Ezekiel chapter 33, and Ephesians chapters 5 and 6. And our thought is, making the best use of the time because the days are evil. Our world is full of distractions, far more than in any previous age. Paul in today's chapters in Ephesians, chapters 5 verse 16, wrote the above words and they apply so much to the way we live our lives right now. He also wrote, Sexual immorality and all impurity must not even be named among you. Let there be no filthiness nor foolish talk nor crude joking. Verses 3 and 4. The kind of life in Ephesus must have been a lot like today, but at least they did not have the internet, TV, radio and magazines with so much of their content enticing their minds with every kind of impurity. How can a true Bible believer have anything to do with so many of the attitudes and fleshly values which surround us and are so blatantly portrayed as entertainment? Now, Note that what Paul then writes, Instead, let there be thanksgiving. We must realise the point of that comment. Are we thankful that we can see the true meaning and purpose of life? We should be. Those who are living the experiences they can have each day have their minds fed by the instincts of the flesh instead of the word of God. They have no thought at all that awesome judgments from God are hanging over the world of today. This leads us to think of our readings today in Ezekiel chapter 33 and the blindness of people in Jerusalem as their impending fate and the prophet's role and responsibility as a watchman. We have the same responsibility. God tells the prophet, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. His message was to be, Turn back from your evil ways. For why will you die, O house of Israel? Verse 11. Our message is the same. It may fall on deaf ears, but we have a responsibility to try. Lot, living in Sodom, obviously tried. Otherwise, Abraham would not have thought there could be 50 righteous within the city. Genesis 18 verse 24. Peter comments on how God rescued righteous Lot, greatly distressed by the sensual conduct around him. 2 Peter 2 verse 12. Do you feel distressed? Are you making the best use of the time? Is it your time? No, it's God's time. Let us spend it in the wisest way. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.